All right, everybody, we've been out here before, um, but where we haven't been, or where I haven't showed you guys yet, is where we're going now. If you look way back there, there's a coconut tree. Where is it? Right there. That's where we're going. I'll show you what's back there. That's the far corner of our property. I'll show you what we're doing there. Um, we've been, uh, every time I show the property, I always show it from the other side. If you take a look, let's see if I can show you. The building is right up there. I don't know how easy it is to see. Let's see if I can zoom in. the building. Now we are at the very back of the property. This is where the canal is. I back up here. This is the other end of the property. And uh, this is where we're going to plant some of the harvesting trees. We're going to come in here and clear this stuff. But what we're going to do is clear this out and plant things that some cedar trees, some mahogany, maybe some other trees that we can grow. But let's take a look because this is the back property line right here. This is the end of the property. The other side here is a cane field. We got sugar cane growing there. So from here all the way over to the building. I can kind of, it's hard to see because we're all overgrown here, but this is the back corner of the property. We're going to be doing some work here just to, right now, basically from this coconut tree, we're planting a banana circle in right here. We're going to start with that because we need to access. I've got too many bananas growing in my, my banana circle at the house. It's time to clean it up. I got five uh, offshoots. They need to come out and be replanted. So we've come here. We're going to start right here. We're going to plant the first banana circle and we're going to run a swale from this location all the way up to the other side. And that's where we start. But I, every time I show the property, I show it from the road. Now we're showing it from the other end. We've come all the way to the back end of the property where we're going to start and we're going to clear a little bit of this and start preparing for a banana circle. The bananas have given us offshoots. Now, because of this, we need to dig them out. We're going to transplant them. And we have ants. Boy, we have ants. All right. All right. So we are going to dig out these bananas. So far we've got these three. We're going to have six total and we've already started a new banana circle out on the homestead. Alright, so what we have here is we've got six that we've pulled out. Yeah. Yeah, the goal is these two are too big and we're never going to make it that way. So we cut them back and they're going to give us suckers on the These are small enough and they're going to give us good solid plants. Now next week we're going to plant all these out on the banana circle that we put on the homestead. And uh, so we'll show you that. Alright guys, here's the banana circle we put in back here. Give you an example there's the coconut tree so here's a banana circle and oddly enough we only have two of them that came up so uh, we had six I think planted we're gonna kind of dig in and see what's going on we don't even see the corn in there and that's a real surprise uh, worst case we'll just come back with more and plant some we've got some growing in the circle back at the house we'll dig some of them bring them and plant them 
we'll just see where we are but for now I just wanted to show where we are if you take a look here's the canal this is the back corner of the canal and what we did is since we don't have a gate a functional gate yet they're going to be putting in a new gate down here a little ways but we don't have one yet so all we did is we have a little trench here that feeds the circle and this is how we water it now that hole is very deep I dug that we actually had the backhoe here we did this when the backhoe was here and he dug that a good six feet deep um, and it's been filled with compost so we'll we'll come back after we're gonna plant out a whole bunch of seeds in here we'll show you what we're doing All right, one of the things we know will grow here is okra this is what this whole field was planted out with um, just recently and we've got a whole bunch of these pods left so we're gonna be collecting a bunch of these some of them uh, I've promised to give some of these seeds to my daughter's teacher and we're gonna plant some of these seeds in the banana circle along with about a dozen other type seeds we're we'll gonna go through all of those and get the whole thing replanted out all right we've got a wide collection now we've got okra that we're gonna we gotta husk these and get the seeds out find the good ones we've got sunflowers radishes carrots cow pea sugar snap pea onion pumpkin corn string bean so we have 11 different plants we're going to plant them throughout the entire circle and see what grows okay we're going to come back once we're once we... all right we're finishing up here for now what we've got if you look we've been cutting and dropping these leguminous trees we pull all the seed pods out or fill them in the hole all throughout this we've got pockets that we planted about a dozen different seeds I think it's 11 different seeds we also have lilies planted in multiple places this banana we got from another spot what we do what we want to make sure you understand the problem we did if you look at this we've got a very thick layer of seaweed and wood chips the problem is that I put it too close to the stalk on the other bananas and it rotted them out so this time we're making sure we have a little volcano set up here and all we do is put a little dry material up against the banana the rest of it stays just the way it is this way we're not pressing and trapping too much moisture here rotting this thing out and like I said we got a dozen well 11 different seeds plus some lilies and everything else throughout this entire thing we do have okra growing let me show you where the okra is here's the okra and as you see we've got water coming in this waters the whole system and that's it for now we're going to be coming back I've got some bananas to put in here we're going to put in three more bananas I may put in the plantains I've got some plantains I may just put the plantains in here I haven't decided yet but uh, we're going to put in at least three more bananas and I may pick up some bulbs and put some bulbs in here too but for now we're done we got about a almost a dozen new plants throughout the entire thing and we transplanted we divided one of the one of the bananas and transplanted it and we harvested a whole bunch of these leguminous seed pods and we're going to go over what I'm going to do with those later so that's it guys we're done for now we'll be
All right, what we've got now is, uh, this is a pup. Now this is actually the plantain. We've got a plantain and two more bananas. We're gonna clean them up, get them planted inside this banana circle. Okay, if you take a look, things are starting to come up. Okay, we've got some of these seeds. We planted these early this week. Some of the seeds are starting to come out. This I think is a cowpea. So is that. Over there we've got some more. So we've got a bunch of these planted. The more the better. I've got I've got some other things I'm gonna plant too. Um, some bulbs that we're gonna plant, some ornamental bulbs. Again, flowers are green pollinators, and pollinators are always a good thing. So that's what we're doing now. We've got bunches of these coming through. That's not sure what that is, but that looks like a cowpea. So we're getting more of these coming up. Alright, one of the things that I've done, or something that we're... Alright, since we were, when we were here last time, we planted about 10 different seeds. And now we've got a couple more. These are these massive 12 inch size uh, sunflowers. I want to get as many of these growing as I can. I'd really like to get some seeds from them. We've got some zucchini, which is always good. <clears throat> we've got a bunch of different bulbs. These are gladiolus. These are tube rows and these are Amazon lilies. So we're going to plant all of these out and um, you know, again increase diversity. The more diversity the better. That's the plan. So this is what we're doing. We're adding these to this circle and then we've got a few other things we're going to do as well. Alright what we're doing is we're planting two of these together and we're going to cover them go to another spot. So two at a time. Two the gladiolus we're planting two at a time because we've got a bunch of them. The others we're going to spread out because they're not as uh, effective. Alright, what we've done is we've got a banana here. We just planted this. We're put in all the, um, all the bulbs are in. We planted the sunflower seeds, the zucchini, so that makes like 13 different seeds we've put in and three different bulbs. Now we've got those two bananas we just put in today. That one we did Monday. These two bananas we put in, those were put in originally, and that is a plantain. So we've got bananas and a plantain. We've got the lilies, we've got uh, seeds starting to come in all over the place. Now we're just watering in everything so we can move on and uh, move on over to the next project. That's where we are now. That's it for this banana circle update. We'll be back.